When the cell towers go down and the internet disappears, how do you still send critical information? In this video, I'll show you a method to stay connected even when your primary and backup plans fail. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. A lot of people believe that WinLink Position Reports is simply about putting a dot on a map. But in reality, they can do a whole lot more. Today, I'm going to walk you through using WinLink Position Reports as part of your emergency communications plan and why you would want to do it. By the end of this video, you'll know how to send them, how to see reports that others have filed, and how they can become a critical part of your plan. All right, so today we're going to be using Pat WinLink on a Linux system, but this same thing will apply to WinLink Express on a Windows system, although the layout is obviously going to be different. So inside of the Pat mailbox, I'm going to come up to Action and come down to Compose. Once we get to Compose, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and I'm going to click on this Template button. That is going to bring up a list of all the templates and these are standard WinLink templates. So again, these will be available to you in WinLink Express. We want to come right down here to General Forms, click on it, and then we're going to find this GPS position report. Go ahead and click on that, and that's going to open up a new window. Now, I do have a GPS connected to my Linux laptop, and you will need a GPS connected, or you're going to need to know your latitude and longitude. If you're going to plug it in manually, you could do it right here. If you've got that GPS connected, you can come right over here to the right-hand side and say, click to use connected GPS. We'll go ahead and click that, and that gives us our lat and long. Now, that is only putting a dot on the map. The power of the position report lies right here in this comment section, because that comment section allows you to convey whatever information may be critical for you. In our area of Tennessee, a lot of us use the color-coded system. So that's green, yellow, or red. Green means everything is okay, running smooth. Yellow means I've got an issue, but I'm able to self-solve it. Red indicates, hey, send the Calvary. I'm going to need some outside assistance. Other information that you might include is your operator and team status, any resources that you need, any tactical movements like en route, arrived, staging. You could include any incident observations, like what damage are you seeing in the area, hazards that might be in your area, or infrastructure reports. And then you might want to send time info. In other words, how long until the next update, your ETA, or if you're going to be delayed. You could also list in that comments other ways that people might be able to communicate with you. Maybe you're going to be listening on a certain repeater, or maybe you're going to be listening on 52 Simplex. Maybe you're running HF on a specific frequency for voice, or maybe you're using an application like JSA Call to listen for incoming messages. Any of that information that would be critical can be put in the comment section. Just try to keep it as brief as possible. So our comment for this video is going to be yellow, power out, battery backup, listening JSA call 40 meters. That gives anybody reading this report a lot of information. Yes, everything is not okay because of the power outage, but I also have backup power. And if you need to get in touch with me, then you could use JSA call on 40 meters to get a message to my inbox. Now, once you've got this report filled out by giving it your lat and long and your comment, go ahead and click Submit right down here at the bottom. It's going to ask you if you want to save it. Just say OK and OK. And then OK one more time. We'll send it to your PAT mailbox ready for you to send it. So we'll just go ahead and click Post right here and you'll see that that is in my outbox. Now let's take a quick peek at that because all it is doing is sending a message to QTH with a subject line of position report and then it's giving all of the pertinent information in the body. Now let's go ahead and make a connection over Telnet for time's sake for the video, but this could easily be done over HF or two meters, whatever means you have available to you. 
Now, if you want to see everyone's position that has filed a position report around you, then you're going to need to compose a new message. Now, there are ways to do this using the WinLink catalog. I'm going to show you the manual method because it's super easy and you don't have to fumble around with a catalog to post this request. What you want to do is you want to send the message to inquiry, I-N-Q-U-I-R-Y. Then the subject line is going to be request. And in the body of the message, you're going to put WL2K underscore nearby. Once you've got that information in there, go ahead and post that to your outbox. And let's make another Telnet connection. Now, after you make that request, you're going to need to wait a couple of minutes so the system can process it and get it ready to send back to you. While we're waiting on that, I do want to show you that on APRS.FI, if we go take a look, you'll be also be able to see my position report that I filed. So not only can you get this back through WinLink, but you can also get this through the APRS.FI website, meaning that anyone in the world can see your latest position report. So I'm simply going to type in my call sign right up here in the track call sign list. We'll click on search and that's going to show you my latest position report. And you'll notice right here is that comment that I put in the comment section when we were filing the position report. Now, you will also receive a position report acknowledgement every time you file a new position report. So this is the acknowledgement of the one we filed a little bit ago. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can't get that list of nearby stations that we requested a minute ago. And you'll see after that last connection that that report turned up right in my inbox. Let's go ahead and click on that and you'll be able to see all of the positions near me, including my own position report right here with the comment that I put on it. So anybody that's filed a position report and left a comment out there, you'll be able to read in this list. Now, let's take this one step further. I have got Pat Menu open and running on a Linux machine. You can accomplish this same thing with the mapping features built into WinLink Express. I'm going to click on Catalog right here, and then I'm going to come down to Convert Positions to APRS. If we click on that, it sees that list that's in my inbox, that WL2K nearby list. So I'm just going to click on OK. Now, if you wanted to search for specific keywords like yellow or green or red, you could type something right here. Otherwise, leave it blank and it will convert every single position report on that list into a mappable file. So I'll click search. It tells me that the processing has been done and it has put this position report right over here on my desk. Now let's go ahead and open up Yak and I've got Tennessee pulled up and zoomed in. We're going to come up to File, Load, Objects and Items. When we click on that, we're going to navigate to the desktop and I'm going to click on that file that the system created called position.pos and click OK. When I do that, you will see that it has put all of those position reports on the map. If we click on one of those position reports, you can also read the comment right here in this little box. So there's the comment that I left just a minute ago. Let's check out this N8FLA. And let's see, he didn't leave a comment. Let's try another one. How about W4BJB down here? And we've got a comment that he left, Bedford County, Tennessee, APRS SMS, and some DMR and DSTAR information. So hopefully now you can see how powerful WinLink position reporting can be. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.